Hey guys, well Starburst here, and welcome back to my Voxel Sniper tutorial series. This episode we're going to cover the topic of terraforming. Terraforming is the act of manipulating the topography to your liking by making various terrain features such as mountains, valleys, oceans, hills, and rivers. For most of the terraforming that we do with the Voxel Sniper, we're going to use erosion brushes. These brushes are made to soften hard and inorganic shapes and surfaces. We will get to those in a minute though, because the first thing that you want to do when creating your terrain, a mountain in this case, is have something to actually soften with an erosion brush. To do this, just place a lot of stone blocks or balls with the basic brushes that we already learned about in the general shape of your terrain feature. Here I'm making a mountain, so I'm making my basic shape very large. It's better to start out the basic shape using voxels, but if there are any hard corners or large flat surfaces, fill them with a ball. Also be sure that no side of the mountain is relatively flat. When you begin to erode a mountain that is flat, you will create a lot of unnatural looking lines in the terrain. To solve this, make sure that you have large and uneven facades before you start the erosion process. This will result in a more natural looking product. You're also going to want to keep the surrounding terrain in mind while you're terraforming. Be sure to blend your terrain feature into the existing ones. If you're making a mountain in a field, make sure the slope of the mountain starts gradually and increases the farther you go up. Now that we're done placing out our basic shape of the mountain, it's time that we start to use the erosion brushes. There are four erosion brush presets that are very easy to access and very helpful when terraforming. The two that we will be using now are BE Melt and BE Fill. BE stands for Brush Erosion, then the word after it is a preset. Melt and Fill brushes have the opposite actions when smoothing terrain. Both of them create rough edges when softening the terrain, but they make the basic shape that we first laid out more natural looking. Keep in mind that if you use the melt brush, the shape that you laid out will be smaller and steeper than if you use the fill brush, which will result in a more gradual slope and a larger mountain. This is because the melt brush destroys blocks and the fill brush creates them. It's also useful to use the gunpowder at times, as it performs the opposite action of the arrow. If you have a tight corner that you didn't fill with a ball, or if you need to melt something that you don't want to become any smaller, using the gunpowder and the melt preset, or just the plain fill preset, are good alternatives to regular melting. When you're done with the basic shape of your terrain feature, there may be some flat surfaces that don't look very natural. Go over these surfaces with a small random erode brush or with a small melt or fill brush. The random erode brush will, well, randomly erode the terrain to make it look more natural. If you end up with large flat surfaces on the ground or on a cliff, one of the best things to do is use the BE Lift preset. This will just lift the blocks within the brush's radius one block towards you. After you do that, you can go over with a smooth brush. After the erosion process, you'll end up with very jagged corners for your mountain. For some styles, this is okay, but for the regular mountain that I'm making, you'll want to use the BE Smooth preset. This brush will get rid of all the rough edges while still maintaining a natural look. If you're terraforming flat, slightly hilly terrain, then I suggest you use the Lift brush and then smooth it over with a smooth preset. This combination results in a very natural looking surface for flat terrain. Now that you're done with the mountain's shape, you'll need to cover it with grass and foliage. Covering surfaces of land with different materials is made easy with the overlay brush. This brush will paint the surface of the terrain to whatever block you have selected, in this case I'm using grass. To activate the overlay brush, type slash B over. This brush will overlay the selected material to a 3 block depth. You can change this by typing the command slash B over D and then the depth. Note that the overlay brush will only paint surfaces below it, but not above it. This is very helpful when making sandy edges for beaches. Adding trees to your terrain is also very easy. Just type slash B, T, and then the tree type to activate the tree brush. The tree brush will grow a tree wherever you click. The tree types to select from are birch, redwood, tree, for the default Minecraft tree, big tree, and tall redwood. You also may find yourself running into times that you need to drain large amounts of water during your terraforming operations. To do this, just use the drain brush. You can use the drain brush by typing slash B drain. Keep in mind that you can adjust all of the brushes included with the Voxel Sniper using the same commands that we learned about on the first tutorial on the Voxel Sniper basics. The command is slash B and then the brush's radius. Also, be on the lookout for my applied sniping tutorials. I'll be terraforming different terrain features and bringing you through the steps that I take to do so. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.